Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive into all things tech. Today, we've got some exciting news for all the open source enthusiasts and mobile OS tinkerers out there. So, um, grab your favorite snack and let's jump right into it. The Postmarket OS devs have just released Postmarket OS 24.06, the latest stable version of this Alpine Linux-based operating system for both mobile devices and computers. And let me tell you, it's packed with some pretty awesome features and updates. First off, let's talk about device support. Highlights of this release include support for the Google Nexus 10 tablet, the Lenovo ThinkPad X 13s laptop and the MS Surface RT tablet. Plus, there's now generic x86 underscore 64 support, meaning you can run Postmarket OS on, well, pretty much any PC or laptop you have lying around. And for those of you with devices powered by NVIDIA Tegra RMV7 chips, like the Asus Transformer, Google Nexus 7, 2012, LG Optimus VU, and Wexler Tab 7T, you're in luck because Postmarket OS now supports those too. Um, yeah, based on the Alpine Linux 3.20 release, Postmarket OS 20 24.06 also brings some updates to the graphical interfaces. We're talking about the latest and greatest KDE Plasma Mobile 6 and Genome Shell on Mobile 46. The new Genome Shell, by the way, introduces a new scheduling manager that, uh, improves UI smoothness and even lets you trigger the keyboard with a double tap on the bottom bar. Super handy, right? For those of you who prefer the genome-based Fosh graphical interface, you'll be pleased to know that Postmarket OS 24.06 ships with Fosh 0.39. This version brings some cool new features like folders in the app overview, better handling of devices with a notch, the ability to select Wi-Fi networks via quick settings, and you can now open the on-screen keyboard by long pressing on the bottom bar. And that's not all. This release also includes the SXMO1, 16.3 graphical interface, which improves suspension control and introduces new device configurations for the Nokia N900, Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, and PineTab 2 devices. And all four graphical UIs come with this beautiful new metal wallpaper. Among other noteworthy changes, Changes. Postmarket OS 24.06 adds new keyboard mappings for Chromebook devices, GPU acceleration support for the Samsung Chromebook, and Logbooked as the default logger. There's also support for initramfs to export logs on boot failure, non-free firmware installed by default, and the ability to install the interfaces cage when building your own images. And of course, numerous improvements and bug fixes are part of the package. So if you want to check out all these details and more, head over to the release announcement page. You can download Postmarket OS 24. 4.06 from the official website for your specific device. And if you're already running Postmarket OS 23.12, make sure to check out the official wiki for a guide on upgrading your installation. All right, that's it for today's update. If you found this video helpful, um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!